In 1984, Belgian writer Jean Van Ham and artist William Vance created the graphic novel series 13, telling the story of a man who wakes up on a beach with no memory of who he is, with his only available clues being a tattoo of the titular Roman numeral on his collarbone and a photo of him and a woman, presumably his wife. He tries to regain his memory, all while being hunted by a shadowy organization, not knowing that he's part of a bigger conspiracy. 13 ended up being a pretty big hit, so much so that it was translated into several languages, had a couple of comic spin-offs, and even a made-for-TV miniseries with a regular TV show following it. Not leaving the digital world behind, Ubisoft developed and published 13 The Game, based on the first five volumes of the graphic novel. But the question remains, is it faithful to its source material, and, better yet, is it any good? Let's find out. Just like the graphic novel, 13 starts off with the amnesiac waking up on a beach, badly wounded with his only clues being the tattoo and a locker box key. He's rescued by a passing lifeguard and taken back to the beach station. But before he can get proper help, unknown assailants, led by a hitman known as the Mongoose, attack the station. Once he escapes, 13 must figure out why these men are attacking him and why the FBI believes him to be the suspect of a political murder, leading to a conspiracy bigger than he ever imagined. I'll be honest with you, I've never read the comics, but after doing some research on them, 13 the game is pretty damn close to the source material in terms of its plot. It crafts a really good mystery thriller wrapped in espionage and action, something not many shooters had at the time. Thirteen is a first-person shooter where the goal is, like many shooters, to complete the given objectives in order to progress the story. To do this, you'll have to be stealthy as well as going all out when the time calls for it. To aid Thirteen in his mission, he'll obtain a variety of guns like pistols, rifles, explosives, and knives, as well as environmental weapons like chairs and ashtrays to knock out enemies quietly. You can even take hostages to prevent getting hit by enemy fire. Although, be careful not to look away from them, as these guys will shoot, even if you're using an innocent as a human shield. Of course, being a game with spy elements, 13 does have some gadgets to go with the armor and health pickups you find along the way. Like a lockpick that kinda looks more like a toothbrush than anything else, and a grappling hook, complete with remote control to move up and down, which I gotta admit is kinda cool. 13's biggest tool, though, is his sixth sense. I see dead people. No, 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 not that. Going with the comic book aesthetic, this sixth sense will show you where enemies are with a tap 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 text, just like in a comic book. This is very useful when you're trying to take out goons quietly. That comic book look also spills into other areas, like when you pull off a nice headshot, or when given a hint or clue, like enemy locations. Now, since this is a first-person shooter, it has to have that obligatory multiplayer, and 13 delivers on that aspect. You have your default regular and team deathmatch modes, as well as capture the flag. But in an interesting move, each version of 13 has its own exclusive mode. PC, PlayStation 2, and GameCube owners have an exclusive mode called The Hunt, where players must shoot ghosts with a hunting gun, making them smaller and smaller, earning points for doing so. PC and PlayStation 2 exclusive owners get Power Up, which is deathmatch with, well, power ups, like invincibility and super speed. For PC and the Big Green, however, they got a mode called Sabotage, where one team has to place a bomb in three spots while the other team tries to stop them. All of these modes can be played offline with bots and split screen, as well as System Link and online via X-Link. It's a decent multiplayer, but not something you'd probably keep playing over and over with friends. Other than that, I really didn't have a problem with this game. 
As far as gameplay goes, it only does a few things different, but it still retains the same tried and true shooter formula, which for a game of this time isn't bad at all. Visually, 13 is a cell shaded delight, truly giving off the feeling of a comic book come to life. With its comic panel cutscenes and character interactions, as well as the brilliant character and stage design, this is one of the best uses of the graphical style and still holds up today. Plus, with the speech boxes and aforementioned tap 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 from The Sixth Sense, 13 is definitely one of the best examples of a comic book come to life. For audio, the soundtrack is fantastic, with an eclectic blend of funk, jazz, and soul. If anything, I'd compare it to a spy film from the 1970s, or perhaps The Mod Squad. On the voiceover side of things, 13 benefits from a great cast of A-list talent such as hip-hop artist Eve portraying Agent Jones. You really have lost your memory. Who are you? I'm Major Jones, first officer for General Carrington. Ring a bell? Carrington went missing three days ago. He was leading a parallel investigation into President Sheridan's assassination. He's the only one who can get you out of this mess. The late, great Adam West as General Carrington. Ah, oh, my cigars. <laughs> Look at this half-wit. Let's take care of him. Ready? Ready, son? Hey, Aaron boy, come here. I gotta take another leap. And David Duchovny is 13. And yeah, he still sounds all David Duchovny ish. Don't tell me she's taking off without me. 13 is another first person shooter that, well, like another shooter I recently reviewed, Area 51, doesn't bring much to the table in terms of new elements that really shake up the genre, save for that sixth sensibility. But. With a presentation that's amazing, great story, great cast, and awesome music, you'll easily forgive 13 for being a generic, yet fun shooter. Even though 13 ends on a, we're making a sequel, note, it never came to be, as sales weren't strong enough for Ubisoft to continue forward with the project. In October of 2011, though, a point-and-click adventure game that serves as a reimagining of 13, called 13 Lost Identity, was released for PC, Mac, iPhone, and iPad. I've never played it, but it looks alright from the videos I've seen. As for the comic, there were 24 volumes published as of 2016, so it seems to still have a little steam left in it. Regardless of the franchise's fate, 13 is still a pretty fun game and an awesome shooter to have in your collection. Well, with that down, this is the Dolly Popka saying, stay green everybody, and I'll catch you next time.